we're not off to the best start. Forgot me sunnies at home, had to make a mad dash to the servo. Got some servo sunnies, but couldn't actually believe it. They had all black pairs there, like black lenses. Down the bottom, sure enough, cheeky brown pair full of dust. If you can, and if you do have a choice to get brown or copper lenses, that should be the choice. Um, you know, I have spent a little bit of time staring at the water and definitely found that that lens is by far the best. Um, but yeah, today, Jess has kind of given me that sneaky permission, even though she wasn't too impressed about it, just to um, head out. We're gonna be out for a jig and then out to the flats after that. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Obviously gonna be the last day I'm going in a week or so. Um, Bob should be here on Monday or Tuesday, which is pretty exciting. So I'm pushing it, you know, it's, what's today, Friday. So it could be any minute, still got the sat phone on me. Um, got a couple of boys and we're just gonna head out for a jig. Hopefully it can stay away from the sharks. Um, sharks have been a massive problem out there. So as soon as we find sharks, I'm gonna leave because I don't wanna waste fish and I don't wanna waste gear, but we'll see you out there. Side. Could be enough yeah, we've got at least two meters each. Straight down, pretty much. You're not on the bottom, are you? Literally straight down. Not too bad on the run, eh? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, Matt just got smoked on the drop. Oh, oh. Oh, you bastard. No, what's going on? Oh, my Lord. Are you kidding? Like, I put two hooks on and I can't even... And like four eats and I couldn't find lips. Oh, that found lips. Oh. Breathe. Breathe. It's nowhere near the bottom. Yeah, like that was way up. Which to me kind of screams a little bit Trevally. Which, no thanks. Wow, I'm still dropping. That was nowhere near the bottom. Someone else get it. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh my. Hey, bro. That's why I just got spanoed. <laughs> After all that, missing all the good fish, yeah, and then look at the clean snip. Look at the water. Wow. Spano? Oh, millions. No. Don't say that to me. Swear at me like that, eh? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh the shred. Oh. The shred life is very real. Go and bring him over here, Drew. Have a look at this thing. Lump of a... Lump of a trev. Colours on the face. Double snipping. Very good.
What we're, this is kind of what we're looking for. So if you look in the top corner here, you see I've zoomed in. So you're more focused on the bottom. And that was our last drift. Each time I do a drift, what I generally try and do is actually come back around on a different angle. So I'm consistently looking for different ground. And as, as the currents change and as the pressure changes down there, the fish actually kind of move a little bit. So you might have a, a mark which generally holds the fish, but on the day, they might only be 50 meters away. But if you're drifting that exact mark over and over again, you'll miss them each time. So it just pays that every time you do a drift, if you do find them, Go back in a slightly different angle, have a look and see if they're moving or if you find a different school to take the pressure off your original ones and then go back and hit them again. So that, that drift there should get us pretty much bang on what we just saw. See how we go. Bending. Oh. What does it feel like? Oh, it might be the right species. Gave me a big head rattle. Well, I've got the right species going on here at least. Oh no, I don't. Nah, smallie. Small eat. Cool looking fish still. Um, cool thing about a small eat is they do swim back. Might have a trout, eh? Are you gonna call it? It's a big call. I'll call it. Oh, he's got himself a pretty solid spangly here. It is a solid one, eh? Yeah. I don't think it's gonna release that great, eh? No, I think he's gonna come home. <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's uh, very solid. Bad. Oof. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. You deal with him. Looks pretty good to me, even if you zoom out. Try not to touch the screen so you see my mark, but. There's 20 meters of fish there. Oh, sending the vibe back down. Spano? 
Yeah. Hmm. Long? Or is it? Oh yeah. Oh another one. Couple? Get a sticky out there. Or a that's a big spanner, that one. This guy's gonna send it. Maybe on the long rod. Yeah, on the vibe. Got lucky. <laughs> Try to slow him down. You can't go down there, mate. It's doomsday for you down there. Oh, there he is. He's got his mate. He's got two mates, three mates, many mates. You popular. Spanos. Sometimes you just get real lucky. Got to have him like, got to have him in the top of the head, hey. There was many down there. Oh, that was one hook pull. Where do I have you? I don't know, I got him clean. Thank you. On the vibe. We got lucky, or oh, we got very close there. Did you really? Yep. Um. Might just, it's a bit dangerous <laughs> with multiple trebles and a spano. Um, I'm gonna just show you a quick look of him and then I'm gonna kinda try and control him a bit better. It happens pretty often like when you're winding up and you feel, you gotta be careful the speed that you wind up and then you feel the weight and it's like in two seconds if you haven't been snipped off you might have a chance I'll take that I'll take that for sure just got way thicker No. Oh. No, but I just got bit. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're up a bit, hey? Yeah, mine was just half on the bottom. That's off. That's a good one, too. Oh, he's fouled me up. No. You need to just put a single on the back and just burn it up. Oh no, and I'm tangled as well, the like the jig's it? not actually vibing, how have I done this? Yeah, they're only just back there, chuck the sticky, they're only just back there, like they're 10 metres under the boat, look at this thing, oh this is large, this is going to sing off, yeah send it, straight at the back. He doesn't even realise he's hooked yet. This is a real one, or like a better one, anyway. Real slow, just like sweep it. There he is, there he is. Not bad. Tight drag for you. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit. 
Oh, it's fully stitched up Isaiah then too. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, there's a hole. There's heaps. Heaps and heaps. Tie on stickies on these rods. Uh, in the in the box, top tray. I said to Isaiah, don't cast in there too deep. Next minute, first cast. They're all around the boat. Mine's going downtown. Oh yeah, there's a lot of spanos. Whoa, look at the boat, <laughs> look at that. They're all spanos. Oh, it's flying Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Big cast, like they'll be out there too. Like, don't be scared to send it. And then don't bring it to the boat like that. So send it and then just crack it on. See how they see one just hit Isaiah's all the way out there? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, there's so. Oh, oh my god! I need to get the big camera out. Oh! Just, just like pa big pauses. That's oh. it. Big pauses. Pause. Hit it. Pause. Hit it. Pause. Yep. Oh, don't, don't burn it to the boat because they literally will. Yeah. This is insane. Oh my god, look at all these Spanish! Oh, it is jugular. Oh, he's got it! Oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna be wild. Alright, I'll uh. Look at him under the boat. I don't wanna drop him on your foot, man. No, okay, I'll open this. Just give his head in there. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick here. Riptide on the same rod. I'm gonna put on hat cam. Go for some live action here. Click this, and then I'll see if I can get you get the mare striking. Still out there? Yeah. All right. So I've downsized on sticky and I'm just gonna hit it. Oh, one. Oh, snip me. Oh, he's eating it while it's sitting there. Send it, yeah, straight on top and twitch it. Look at them just attacking it. They're just attacking it sitting there. Uh, I'll cast another. Oh! <laughs> I saw that one. There's definitely a GT in there, I can see him. No, that's good, that's good. Put a bit of speed on it. Speed on it, speed on it. Here he comes. <laughs> 